there is a question on how to prepare for Tableau desktop interviews. Please give some tips and topics. Um, I've, I've mentioned earlier that um, if I were the employer or if I were the one interviewing, I would be very interested in first how you your thought process. If I if I ask you, if again, if I were the employer, I'll probably ask you an open ended question. I'll give you a scenario. I work with this. So let's say I work in retail. One of the problems that we are facing is we always um, we we always run out of raw materials, and then now you have a big um, you know, big order kind of coming along. Maybe there is an event, uh, there is a holiday where, you know, a lot of people just ask for that one item and we always end up having to back order a lot of, a lot of these uh, orders from us. What, how can you help us? So I think for me, if I were the employer, I will give you a question like that because I'm interested in your thought process. I'm interested in what questions you're going to ask me back. I'm also interested in how you're going to incorporate that when you're working with Tableau. So the, the way I would suggest answering that is um, first paraphrase the question, do you mean this? So just make sure that you have the same understanding. I see that as well. Um, I do interviews as well, um, but I see that when, you know, I see, I see the question very differently sometimes from how you would see the question because those are always going to be colored by our own experiences. So if you've always worked on the retail environment, maybe you have certain assumptions based on the situations you were at. However, maybe I'm asking a very different question. So at first, I would say paraphrase. Second, um, I would I would suggest you um, you bring your value proposition first in business terms. I can use Tableau so that you will get, uh, you will know ahead of time when you're going to run out of materials and then qualify that with your very specific Tableau knowledge. You can say, I can create a dashboard. Um, maybe I will create two different dashboards, one for the sales team and one for the logistics team. Uh, maybe one for the shipping team, maybe it's going to be three. And I will make sure that, you know, especially if they have access to Tableau server, that they will get a subscription once a certain threshold is reached. And I will make sure that in the dashboard, it's very clear that you are missing these items that you're going to isolate that. So I, I again, those are just some ideas. In terms of actual uh, technical skills, um, what I've seen in the past, so I've been part of other um, interviews. What I've seen in the past is really just knowing your way around calculations, because chances are you're going to have to create calculations. Knowing what the limitations of Tableau are, what is Tableau for and what is Tableau not for? Um, so if you are being asked to create a spreadsheet that has a hundred columns, um, it's okay to ask the question and it's okay to push back and say, are there other tools that we're looking at? Because Tableau is very strong at summarizing the data, visualizing the data, um, sharing it, but maybe not necessarily showing 100,000 different raw numbers. So I think that's okay um, because it shows that you're thinking through the issues and potential problems in, in the future.